welcome back to uh, Aspects of Morn, and today we're talking about Ariane Winterheart. I love Ariane, uh, or Ari as uh, uh, Kazao calls her. Um, she's part of a duo of sisters that I had trouble coming up with a full concept for them. I kept throwing them on different teams, seeing if they'd fit there. And when I developed a Kira Kazao, I was like, going, what if? And then it, it all hit me. I abandoned part of the concept was they'd switch bodies. That's been completely thrown out. I don't ever want it used. It makes no sense. Ugh. I don't want it there. I don't want it there for drama purposes. No. Um, so let's, let's take a look at Ariane. She's a wood elf samurai. <clears throat> There's one thing here that I'll get to at the end <clears throat> with regard to Kazal that I don't have listed here, but I'll, I'll leave that to the end when I get to Kazal. Um, she's what else am I? Her parents died protecting humans from red caps. And you're probably going, what? Her parents save what? Her parents save samurai. And the samurai adopted um, Ariane and her sister Salia. Ariane took quite readily to being a samurai and loved the edicts, loved the sword play, loved figuring things out as a samurai. <clears throat> but her sister, Salya, she, she got old enough, went elsewhere for training. Which isn't too bad. Her sister didn't fall off the enlightenment train. Trust me, when we get to Salya, which isn't far away, you'll see. Um, Ariana rose through the ranks quickly. She gained recognition quite readily for her diplomacy and defensive fighting style. She didn't like hurting people, so she'd find ways to disarm them, uh, keep enemies at bay while others disarm them, etc. She has a very defensive... She is a literal tank, um, and she does it without a shield. She does it with two dual katana, one's short, one's long. <coughs> uh, when she met Kazao... Because I was very hesitant about asking her out, but and stormed into the camp and said, "Hey, and you'll, you'll see this. this isn't as a spoiler for the book. It's a flashback in the book. Literally, it's mentioned a few times." Um, but because I walked into the camp, she was assigned to spy on Ariana and report back to the Withers, and decided she couldn't because she liked what she saw. So she walked in and said, I wanted to ask you out. I feel dumb. I've been spying on you. It's dumb. I, I'm not going to report any of my findings. And you probably hate me, and I'm just going to go. And Ariana said, No, wait a minute. <laughs> Why are you leaving before our first date? Yeah, that cute. Ariane is the only one allowed to call Kazao Kizzy. Kazao is quick to rebuke anybody else who calls her that. Because, nope, uh-uh, my wife is the only one allowed to call me that. So that's a cute little nod. And it took Ariane a long time to earn uh, Kazao's pet's trust, which is Pratchett. It took a long time. She did. She did. Eventually. Um, <clears throat> together, the two are, I wouldn't say friends, but acquaintances of one of the mysterious animals that are all over the aspects. Um, I call them totem animals, and we'll get to them in, a, in another video, but there's an infamous one named Gertrude that lives in the clearing below Ariane and uh, Kazao's treehouse on the aspect of Morn that they share with uh, the team called the Walkers of the Storm, which we'll get to in a later video. But yeah, that's Ariane. I, I love her. I, I It took me forever to find a way to work her and her sister into a story, and it made natural sense. As soon as I started piecing things together, the whole story just started flowing as you'll see when you read Akira Kazal. <sighs> and with that, we only have one more member of the of the main cast to go over, and we will go over her in the near future, and thank you.